All right, so uh, a while ago I did a Fuego box video where they sent me hot sauces, and I guess they're out for blood because they sent me two of them this time. So uh, I guess we'll see. Let's look at them. Uh, three. There's gonna be six bottles total. Uh, this looks. Uh, this is number twenty-three. Uh, Corrine's number twenty-three. This is um, fresh hot pepper, garlic, and turmeric sauce or turmeric sauce. It's made with Scotch bonnets. Okay. Here's some Hoff sauce with this beard guy. Uh, everyday hot sauce. Uh, looks like it's a combo of red jalapenos, habanero, and a kiss of chipotle. And here we. Ooh, this looks interesting. This is maple. This is butterfly bakery. Maple Oatmeal Stout. This tastes like what sriracha would taste like if it were made with dark, rich beer instead of garlic. Hmm. So it's like beery, peppery, and maple syrupy, I guess. Okay. That one catches my interest right away just because it sounds different. And then here... Here is... Uh, Patio's Potion. Hot peppers, garlic, grapefruit, onions, carrots, vinegar... Uh, yeah, it's got a whole bunch of interesting sunflower seeds, it's got interesting ingredients in here. Here's Callahan's Black Pepper Chipotle. Um, yep, Chipotle and Black Pepper. Okay, not a ton of heat, but loaded with flavor. Okay, I can respect that. And then, uh, Bolito's Calabrian Pepper Sauce. Looks like, I don't know what a Calabrian chili is, but that's what these are made of. Um, uh, cool. Well, let's try them out. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's try the Callahan's first. Yeah, definitely very mild, but it tastes good. I like that. It's just kind of a nice, peppery, slightly sweet sauce, but very, very mild, but good. Here's the Corrine's Cuisine number 23 with the garlic and turmeric. So this one's super thick, so it might not be the best choice for eggs. It says put it on meat and stuff. Let's see how it tastes anyway. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's got a good kick right away. Um, burns the back of the throat. Tastes just interesting. Um, yeah, it's kind of mustardy, kind of garlicky, um, but it definitely, definitely, this is one that really hits you. Here's that maple one. This one sounds interesting. Oh, spilled it all over. All right. I like that. That's really good. It's almost caramelly. Yeah, it's got that nice maple beer flavor. So it's got, oh, oh yeah, kind of like that nice, almost not syrupy, but a good dark sweetness to the heat. Here's the Tuscan Red. These thick ones are the scary ones because that means they're probably really concentrated. This one's got, I think, little pepper seeds in it. So that's gonna be pretty rough probably. Mmm. Not bad at all. I like this. Uh, it's not that spicy, um, but it's sweet and it's got a good. It's like it's like a, it's kind of like this one, in that they're both just like nice flavor, but not that spicy. This one, uh, hello, hello, Sophie. This one might be a little bit spicier, but these are pretty good just for everyday use. Here's the Hoff sauce. Uh, again, not too spicy. This one is more vinegary. Um, I prefer a little sweeter because I like I'm a, kind of a sriracha guy for like everyday use. Um, but this is actually pretty good. It's got a sweetness, but it has a, that t vinegar tang that goes pretty well. It's a nice balance. And then finally, let's try this patio's potion. This one's weird. This one's probably my least favorite. It just tastes kind of watery. Um, it's like a weird. I guess that might be the grapefruit. Yeah, it's like a weird, not that flavorful, kind of not that sweet either. Just kind of like a weird, vaguely sweet, sour. It's mild, and I'm not that into the flavor. It has a bunch of weird ingredients, and maybe that's why. I don't know. All right, the spiciest was definitely this, uh, by far. And then in terms of uh, my favorite, you know, I really liked these two for everyday use. I think this one was the most interesting, the maple one maple oatmeal stout. But yeah, thank you very much Fuego Box. Interesting sauces. Yeah, cool. Alright, if you want to get your own, there's a link in the description. Otherwise, goodbye.